Hey guys, Cece back with a new video and this is going to be a haul video. It is a pretty good sized haul. Um, as I told you guys before, I traveled to Dallas a few weeks ago and I bought some stuff at their Sephora and Ulta and I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. Every time I go out of town, I always have to look and see what type of makeup they have, if they have different stuff from what my um, stores here in Cleveland have or what. I don't know. That's like the first place I need to look. So I, the only shopping I really did was makeup shopping. I didn't buy any clothes or anything like that. Um, our suitcases were pretty full and we didn't want to pay for any more luggage. So I figured makeup was a safe way to go, a safe way to shop without piling on too many extra pounds um, into our suitcase. So, if you guys want to see what I got in Dallas, then definitely stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, you guys, so I got a pretty good amount of stuff. This is a MAC bag, and I have nothing for MAC. This is just a bag that I had at home that I just threw all my stuff in, but... There's, this thing's full. Like, it's pretty full to the top. So, I have a lot of things to show you guys. So, we're going to jump right in. I hate the sound that these bags make. Is it just me? Alright. And I don't think I'm going to swatch everything just because it, it's just too much. It's just too much. So, I'm not going to... I'm not going to swatch everything. But, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I got. So the first thing I got, kind of boring, this is the e.l.f. lip balm tint. I know I can get this anywhere, but they had it in their Walmart and it was actually on clearance for like, I think it was on clearance for like 75 cents and it's usually $2. So I went ahead and picked one up and I really love this lip balm. I've showed this in a video before. And again, guys, this stuff is in no particular order. I'm just grabbing it out the bag. Um, the next thing I got from Nordstrom is this little baby size Clinique Dramatically Different Gel. And it is a moisturizer. I've had this one before. This is the number 3-4 for combination to oily skin. So, um, I've had this this before I bought the full size and I thought it was a great moisturizer I just didn't feel the need to pay $26 for a moisturizer when there's some really great ones at the drugstore for a lot cheaper but I did enjoy it so they have the little baby size so I, I went ahead and picked it up next I got another drugstore item from their Walmart in Texas this is the Maybelline um, lash sensational and this is the a very black mascara and I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I definitely want to try it. I actually picked up another mascara, and it is from Too Faced, and it's the Better Than Sex Mascara. And I got the small size just because um, I don't like spending a lot of money on mascaras. I feel like there's some great ones in the drugstore, and I don't like to spend 20 something dollars on a mascara where I feel like I can get the same quality for $10 or less at the drugstore. But this one was $12.50 for the small size, and I've really been curious about this Too Faced mascara because everyone talks about it, so I had to pick it up when I saw it. And I actually got this mascara at a Macy's Impulse store. And I've never been in a Macy's Impulse store. And it's basically where they have all the makeup. They sell the Anastasia Beverly Hills brand. They sold Inglot in this one. Um, some Smashbox products. Like, it was really great. And so, I really enjoyed that Macy's. So, that's where I picked this up. I grabbed also a French Vanilla Baked Highlighter and a double-ended applicator from Laura Geller. I got this from Ulta. It was like a little set for $15 and so I said, why not? I have, do I have anything from Laura Geller? I think I have like one Laura Geller product, but um, I want to try some more of her products. I heard they're really good. So it came with this double-ended brush, which I don't really like. It's like the foam texture. So I probably won't be using that. But here's the highlighter, and it's called French Vanilla. And it just looks like that. And it doesn't really have any shimmer to it. It's kind of like matte and chalky. So I don't know if I really like that, but yeah. If you guys hear any noises in this video, don't mind it. I'm so sorry. The guys that are renovating my house just got here. So, of course, as I'm filming, they just got here. And then it's a really nice day outside, so people are mowing their lawns and doing everything that they can to annoy me and to bring sound to my video. So, sorry about the outside noise, but we're going to keep going anyway. 
So next I got a blush from Becca. This is my very first Becca blush and this is in the color Damselfly. I really love this and oh, it's just so pretty. So, so, so pretty. There it is right there. It's like a peachy toned blush which I really love for spring and summer. I got another Becca product and this is something that I've been wanting for the longest time and I finally went ahead, bit the bullet and got it and it is their um, pressed, shimmering skin perfector press and it's in the color opal, shocker right? I already have the color moonstone but I finally bit the bullet and got opal and oh it is as beautiful as everyone says it is. Like it is worth all the hype it receives. Look at that so gorgeous it's gorgeous in the pan and out and i'm wearing opal today on my cheekbones so then keeping up with the highlighter thing you know i had to get the makeup forever pro sculpting duo that everyone's been talking about um everyone's saying that this is a dupe for estee lauder's heat wave and this is in the number two and just look at that let's just pause for a minute and just a moment of silence for this look at this i bought this pretty much strictly for the highlighter i'm not in love with the bronzer color but the highlighter honey it's a beautiful gold golden highlighter and here's a swatch for the bronzer i don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it can't really see it on my skin tone there it is but this highlighter absolutely absolutely gorgeous Next, I got a lip color from Stila, and this is their Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I got it in the color Patina, and it's the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. I've had this lipstick on for about two hours. I've ate, I've drank, all that good stuff. Still on my lips, still going strong. I have not reapplied it or anything like that, and it is the most gorgeous color. I feel like this is such a year-round color that you can wear fall, spring, summer, winter, and still be in season like this it's just so pretty and it's not overly drying as I would expect it to be so. I grabbed a setting spray from Sephora this is the buxom total fixation set and refresh gel mist I have never heard about this product I just happened to go into Sephora and I saw it I don't feel like I've seen it at my Sephora here but it's just a small little setting spray for your face and it's doesn't really make any claims anywhere. I don't even think it doesn't even make any claims on the box. I just thought it was interesting, so I decided to get it and give it a try. I got some more setting sprays. I got the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I've had this before and featured this on my channel. This is like an oldie but goodie. I love this um, setting spray and. I just love how it keeps the oils away from my face. Then I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I got the small, um, the small one. I think this is just the one ounce. Um, yeah, this is the one ounce bottle. I did not get the big one. I refuse to pay $32 for a setting spray. I just do, especially something that says primer water. I bought this strictly off of the hype. Um, I don't know I just it looks like water like I don't know I, everyone's talking about it though everyone's saying how great it is how much they love it I really bought this product strictly off hype YouTube made me buy it okay but we'll see how it works I'm gonna try to use it and then try to give some type of review on it to let you guys know how it works if you want to see a review on this let me know down below so I can do it because everyone's been talking about this product and I don't know I'm skeptical Sephora was also having, they had like some stuff on clearance, so I picked up two nail polishes. These are their Formula X nail polishes, and I thought they were great colors for the spring and summer. They were $2 a piece, $1.99, so I had to grab two of them. I got the color Reckless, and it's this pretty powder blue. I feel like the camera's picking it up darker than what it really is. But it's just a nice powder blue. And then I also grabbed the color Incandescent. And this is like a cream sickle orangish color. So for $2, you really can't beat that. I think these are like $15 nail polishes. 
And then with that, they also had this lip liner for $2. And it's just in the color Beau Bordeaux. And it's like a deep reddish brown color. I grabbed the three nail polishes from Ulta. Ulta had a, um, a sale or have a sale or had a sale. I don't know if it's still going on or not. But all their nail polishes were $2. So I grabbed three of them. And I don't want to grab too many nail polishes this season. I feel like I always go crazy with nail polishes. And then they go bad and I've just wasted my money. So I'm only getting a couple. And I grabbed their top coat. Just a clear top coat. I got their base coat and then I got this color and it is in the color showgirl very gorgeous for the spring and summer I think this is great for a manicure and a pedicure color all right y'all we are almost at the end I got my tried and true trusty Maybelline definer brow in medium brown you guys know I've showed this in plenty empties videos and I use this all the time on my brows such a good dupe for the Anastasia brow wigs I love this we have here an essence I love I love stage eyeshadow base I've heard really great things about this eyeshadow base and I needed something else to go with my purchase so I can get my 350 off a $10 coupon off the drugstore items in Ulta so I went ahead and picked this up and I used it and I must say I like it there was no creasing um, my eyeshadow stayed put all day so last but not least I got my favorite lip gloss ever this is the buxom full-on lip cream in white Russian and I feature this in several videos as well and I told you guys I was going to repurchase it which I did it just has this pretty packaging with the frosted glass bottle and it's really just a nude color it can go over any 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 lip color any lip color and it's like a baby pink when it comes out of the out of the packaging, but really it's just a new color. So gorgeous on the lips and paired with anything you want to pair with. Alright you guys, that is the end of my haul. Those are all the things that I got in Dallas. I am so happy I was able to film this haul video because those things have just been sitting on my vanity for the last week and some change and I have been wanting to use them so so bad like just dive headfirst into them but I wanted to show you guys first. I used a couple of the products but a lot of the things I have some restraint so I'm so happy I can go ahead and dive head first and use them if you guys want to see full reviews on any of the products that I've just shown you definitely as usual let me know down below and I can go ahead and get that done for you also if you've used any of these products please let me know what you think down below I'd really love to know especially that Smashbox primer water what is the hype all about so I'm excited to figure that out but um other than that, I think that's it. I have no other housekeeping items, I don't think. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Thank you for your love and support. And don't forget to follow me on social media. All of that will be linked below. My blog, my email. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.